Welcome back. Bones have been dug up from the grounds of Arizona National Parks, but not the kinds of bones you'd expect. New species of dinosaurs have been found called Screwtarx delta tilus. We spoke with paleontologist Adam Marsh to tell us what exactly they found. Paleontological fieldwork and, and, and research has been going on in the park for at least 100 years. Um, and we're still finding almost every year a new animal known from the park which may or may not even be a new species globally. Um, and that's just a matter of us looking in the right places. The, the rocks around here are completely full of fossils, and it's just a matter of finding exactly where they are. Um, so in the last year, Scutarx was named. That's a new species. It's Scutarx delta tilus. And for a long time, all the bones that are now referred to Scutarx were called Calyptosuchus. Um, until we took a closer look and found that this Scutarx animal had anatomical differences all along the plates, and um, there's different parts of the skull that are also different from Calyptosuchus. Shield Fortress, uh, is which, that's what Scutarx means. Um, it's named after the kind of animal it is. It's a, it's a special type of reptile called an Aedosaur. And if you think of what a armadillo a reptile version of an armadillo would look like, it's that. It's covered in bony plates, hence the shield. And the fortress part of the name is because it was originally found from a specific uh, feature in the park that looks like a fortress. The species name Delta Tilus means triangle bump, basically, and it refers to a special feature on the skeleton that tells it apart from other animals like it. Yeah, the, the group to which Scutarx belongs, Edosaurs, went extinct at the Triassic-Jurassic boundary, which is about 201 million years ago. Um, this is also the same time where dinosaurs really started to dominate the landscape. And when you get into the early Jurassic, at least in North America, we're starting to get the first long-necked plant-eating dinosaurs that get into North America. So it's possible that, at least in North America, Edosaurs may have been competitively excluded from um, that niche.